Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. It's creepy out here. Okay, let's get rid of the night vision. So this is a brief little update, good news, bad news thing, and you might be able to tell from the blocks over here, we're on 1.13, 1.13. Now this looks like the Minecraft Land Party server, but it's not exactly. Oh, look at the fishies. Hello, guys. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, this is a... This is my test server, and it is running one of the development versions of Spigot 1.13. And look at this. Everything's okay. The chunks are here. It's very important. So apparently the issue was not a 1.13 issue or a 1.13 issue. It was a Spigot issue. And Spigot 1.12.2 apparently was not setting lighting flags on chunks correctly so chunks that weren't indicated as having or being lit correctly were uh, not flagged correctly and when 1.13 opened them up it decided to regenerate instead of just opening instead of converting so that was that what that's what was happening and it's hard to tell how many chunks it was going to do that on I ran a conversion on the single player 1.13 vanilla and got something like 36 chunks skipped and I don't know if that's it or not but anyway so we were it was uh I had barb makes things come on whoa on to the uh onto the test server here is that mine or hers this is hers she left stuff behind. Anyway, so we, we were playing around with the new blocks. I was showing her the the stripped bark blocks and the, the full bark blocks and the slabs and stairs of the prismarine blocks, which is cool. And the fact that you can place uh, picture frames or item frames on the top and bottom of blocks now. So you can do things like this. And it looks like food. Looks like a plate. It's pretty cool. And then we we're playing around with this coming up with different crate designs and a, and a neat kind of looking chair anyway everything here seems to be working fine except for one thing inside the witch farm area here and i don't know if we're gonna have items to show off the issue with actually i think i already made the fix here so using normal item elevators um I had uh, items going up through normal item elevators were getting caught on the on the hoppers that I was putting in here so I went up an extra layer of blocks put in some water so the items got up into the water and then from the water flowed onto the hopper here so I got rid of this hopper in the middle this block right there this works just fine items were kind of working but not always in the other scheme so this is kind of the fix that i came up with i don't know if that's something that's going to be addressed haven't really looked through the bug tracker to see if it's an issue um and obviously this won't work in the nether uh, but this uh this kind of fixed the issue and allowed everything to work here it's pretty much the only real problem that i've found but I did find no that's not entirely true hang on a second so this is kind of a good news bad news situation um, fishies so as I said it was kind of a good news bad news situation the signs eh, it's a minor thing but there are sign issues like that all over the place so we're gonna have to go through and replace signs that we don't care to have looking with funky characters Come on, get through the portal, please. Any moment now. This is unusually long. Try again. Now, 
This is, there we go. Whoa. Whoa, that actually crashed the server. I had to, I had to forcefully shut down and restart the server. That's really weird. Let's see if we can get through the, uh, the portal this time. Okay, so, uh, hi. Here's a problem. This is probably why I, uh, was crashing the server. Let me, uh, let's see what we can do here. Bang splat, zero, one, twenty-eight, zero. Boop. Ah, there we go. So, we have a small problem in the spawn chunks. And it's, uh, no, I don't know that small is the right word for it. But, this doesn't look right, right? In fact, uh, give bang splat, night vision, boop. Okay, so we've got missing chunks, like chunks that are just completely missing and chunks that just got regenerated. So this whole spawn island here is mostly should be covered with stone and sand and there's more of it missing there. And then there's just pieces that are just flat out missing and I can't really go into them. And the portal apparently is inside one of them. So obviously a problem. And then this, this looks wacky. So this is a full chunk here. These are on chunk boundaries. Boop. And they're just regenerated. With the 1.13 generation algorithm. And then, oh look, more regeneration going on over here. And it seems to end here. Everything else looks reasonably normal-ish. I think. Oh, somebody built a house out here. Oh, nice. Who did that? So anyway, still some issues. Um, there are a couple new development versions of the spigot that I need to look at. And it, clearly there's supposed to be some sort of a ridge here. Oh yeah, fun. So there are some issues. Uh, I'm going to try and updating to a newer development version and reloading a fresh version a fresh copy of the world backup and we'll see if that works any better but this this is a little problem but i can deal with this if it's just the spawn chunks i can come in and fix this i mean basically it's just a couple outcroppings and re-terraforming the spawn island itself but this is just weird oh actually no the missing chunks i don't know if that can be fixed Yeah, so just, hi, <laughs> there's nothing here. Um, it's, it's weird. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's the update. Oh, and you can see things like, oh, look, all the torches are still out there, but there's nothing here. And I can walk on some of it, but I can't walk into other of it because I think this, it thinks this is like terrain that's regenerated, but something's wrong. So still kind of hoping that this is okay but uh this is a little troubling anyway that's it with the 1.13 update for now back to your program already in progress oh poor squiddy and look at all those creepers so welcome back to the minecraft land party server and I've been, I'm out here in the desert, Giza, the big pyramid, and I've been lighting up the ground around the pyramid. I've got more to do over here, and this side's pretty much complete. I need to do more over here, and I've been going through and trying to find caves and light them up because they're kind of a big pain in the butt. And they're causing some issues with the slime farm, which I have built and working but it's not terribly efficient. It's not producing a ton of slimes. And I think it's just, we've got too many, too many mobs around. Ah, so let's go down and check it out. Take a look, bonk, 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 bonk. And get through our secret door here. Come on. So here's the single chunk slime farm. 
Look at that. We got slimes down there. See, it works when I move out into areas where, where mobs can't be spawning. So let me show you what's going on here. Let me get down. I know. Let me switch to the camera count. Okay, I feel dumb now. I didn't even notice this. And I'm gonna have to come down and fix this. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Uh, I built this side wrong. <laughs> and so these big guys aren't actually dying. Uh, that probably has quite a bit to do with why the farm isn't producing the way I thought it would because I forgot to build a layer down here. Anyway, it's pretty straightforward. We've got seven spawning platforms going up to level bu, 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 looking at 28 um, right and uh, 29 30 yeah I don't I can't go up and I can't put another one up um, and keep within the bottom sub chunk right that the slimes will spawn below 40 uh, but it uses the and the lack of sky axis might mitigate this. I don't know. Uh, maybe I will build it up and see if it helps in any way. But, oh, this is, I feel so dumb. Um, so on each level, they can see an iron golem. And they don't like the iron golem, so they go jumping, jump, jump, jump towards the iron golem. And here on this level, they can see the guy on the, the floor below. So I have... I don't have an iron golem per floor. I actually have them stacked up a little more efficiently. But anyway, and then this pattern, I, I basically carve out a space around the side, two and a half blocks where the slimes can fit, even the big ones, and they fall on down. And then what's supposed to happen is the big ones can swim against the current. So they go pound against this cactus here, trying to get at this guy. Uh, they get they break down into the medium slimes and they get pushed down into the cactus down here. The medium ones get broken down into small ones and the small ones get broken down into slime balls that get picked up by these hoppers. And these guys are just hopping around because, yeah, guess what? It'll never, it'll never happen. So I need to fix that. And that's probably a big part of why it's not producing as much as I would have expected. But anyway, so this is standard item elevator going up to shulker loading box up there. And glad I came down and took a look at this. Uh, so anyway, we lose a fair amount of floor space to the golems in my constraint of making it fit within a single chunk. Uh, normally you'd put these guys off on the side outside the chunk and it worked just fine. And then you get all these sp uh, spots here to spawn more slimes. Uh, the, the walls are, are surrounded in glass so that if a sp large slime spawns on this block here, right at the edge, it won't suffocate in the wall. And I've got lighting behind it, just because it looks cool. I've got lots of slime and, and uh, sea lanterns. And then there's just enough torches on each of the floors. I think this is the minimum necessary torches, but this is enough to keep the light level such that nothing else will spawn in here. Um, I'm using slabs so that there's enough space on the floor below for the large slime, slimes to spawn. They will spawn in a two and a half tall space. And yeah, it goes on down there. So that's, uh, that's basically what's going on. Let me 
Let's switch back over and check and look and see what the what the farm has output so far. So no no sugar boxes have been filled up yet. Pardon me. And I have a sugar box here with uh, 18 stacks of slime, almost 18 full. So it's producing, it just isn't producing as many as it should. We'll fix that. Um, and that's probably why I'm feeling like it's not doing what it, why I'm feeling like it's underperforming. So once I get stuff lit up, oh, they are eventually breaking down. That's weird. Anyway, so that's, this is the single chunk slime farm, a farm that no one ever really needs to build. <laughs> but I'm just doing it because it fits in with the single chunk farm motif over here. And I'm glad that I had the cactus farm to make all this green glass and the uh, guardian farm for all the sea lanterns and and my slime farm, my other two chunk slime farm, which is uh, which is where I got all the slime chunks here. OK, this guy, watch this guy here. See, he's trying to he's swimming against the current, trying to get this guy. He's getting hurt and he's going to break into two or more two in this case two medium-sized slimes and they'll go down and they'll get they'll get munched up on the cactus down there and that will result in more slime balls coming up the elevator so this i mean this is not the most efficient farm design in the world by any stretch uh, the magma blocks is a much better way of going um because you get you don't lose uh slime balls to the the cactus because the cactus will will destroy some of the items that get dropped um i just wanted to do it this way um i'm not super excited about minecart collection systems but um obviously they work and i, th I have a feeling that sticking within a single chunk they'd work particularly well so I can make this more efficient, but I also cannot give it sky access. The game and its spawning thing does its spawning calculation, and it, it is based on the the top most opaque block in that in that space. So for this block right here, it's going to look up and say, "Oh, well, there's a thing way up there," and that's going to affect spawn rate. So this is not the best location. Uh, it's not the best design, but it's producing slime blocks and it's the only slime chunk inside the pyramid, oddly enough, as far as I can tell. Um, so we're, uh, we're good to go. I'm probably going to do a few other things to help get rid of mob spawning because there's caves and stuff down below here as well, which I think I've lit most, most of them up, but we'll, uh, we'll have to sort of manage that a little bit. So anyway, that's what I've been working on, testing 1.13, and oh, I've got one other thing to show you. So I made some adjustments here. There's now no doubt at all what is up here. It's the gold farm, and there's zero doubt whatsoever that that's what's going on here. I replaced all the stupid nether rack and the empty blocks and the stone bricks with uh, gold and... A few pieces of glowstone because that goes with the gold pretty nicely just to give it some light so you can see what's going on and yeah so that's that's I that's what I did here um, it's a lot of gold it took a lot of gold blocks to do that but you know what it's fine we get plenty of gold from this thing and oh there's that spooky sound that Minecraft plays that sounds like a freaking modem there we go. So, and we'll we'll get more more gold blocks. See, I got three right there. No problem. There we go. Cool. Well, that was it. I just wanted to update a couple things. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye. So it seems I owe an apology to Barb. She. Uh, took umbrage with me questioning the utility of her slime drop here 
and she points out that if you bounce and you go forward oh you put your head into that and then you just move on out which is kind of cool but it's kind of terrifying and I didn't necessarily want to try that just in case it bounced too hard but there we go it totally works as you can see and you get out pretty quickly um, so anyway sorry about that um, did not mean to suggest that it was bad just seemed odd to me slime farm that was it that's my little postscript